Okay, Sam, we were at this event today, Act for Change. Tell me what your feedback was. Um, my feedback is that it's an incredible event. There's a lot of passion. There were some real big names in the room. And I think there's a lot of pressure now in the industry to make that change. But my fear is that this has all happened before. And that's what a lot of people are saying now, is that we've seen all these kind of initiatives and a lot of power and everything coming out. But actually, is it going to make a difference? And even though uh, Steve November denied it, I think the pressure will be on the commissioners. I've worked in TV and production and development, being on screen now myself as an actress, and I know that the pressure is on the commissioners. It, it, you know, they can kind of sideline it, but they really need to make that difference. One of the things, though, that I noticed going on is there, there was a lot of questions. The audience was really heightened, but how many questions was actually being answered towards the accountability aspect of it? Um, I think people in power are in power because they're good at, at sort of swerving questions. But I think they were quite spot on in terms of um, coming up with solutions. I think the, the lawyer guy that spoke actually was, I mean, he's a lawyer, he talks for a living. But he came up, you know, with a quota system and I think that there will be a move forward to go for that quota system. But on the other side of that, there is that worry of tokenism. America is much bigger than the UK. So actually to find incredible actors for the number of shows that America produces is probably... I don't know if that's going to work in the UK. You know, are there that number of actors to fill those roles? We don't know. <laughs> so what would you be your solution for this issue here? Um, oh, that's a good question. My, my solution would be the quota system because I think it's a fair way, but I think it has to be monitored because if it starts to flick the other way and people start to see tokenism or actors in roles where they just see them being dropped in, at, you know, to sort of tick a box, then the worry is that people who aren't in those minority groups start to pick against it. And we're already seeing that in the UK with UKIP getting into power in a lot of places. So that's my worry is that if you force people something onto people, they will immediately kick against it. And as a minority group, that's not what we want. Absolutely. So what would be your encouragement to creatives or people who want to go into this industry? What would you be your encouragement on how they can really make an impact in the industry given the way the state of things right now? Um, one thing I, I was thinking when we were in, in the session today is I would love to see workshops for um, the Bain community with casting directors. The casting directors here would set that up so that they could actually see great actors but you know with nothing specific in mind because really as any kind of actor it's about building those contacts with casting directors. TV is very much about nepotism and it's who you know and if you are from a minority you're less likely to know the right people because you didn't go to school with them. Um, so I'd like to see the casting directors guilty of that but I'd also like to see the pressure on the commissioners and make maybe some kind of body to assist them in that so that they're not just box ticking because if you are white and middle class there's nothing wrong with that. My mum is white and middle class um, but that you're not just saying, oh, well, I'll make that character this, this character that, or we'll have a disabled person here, or a gay person here. The people are representing it. It's, it's, it doesn't define who they are. They just are Southeast Asian, or, you know, they, they're in a wheelchair. It, it, it doesn't have to be a thing. It just is. Absolutely. Wow. Is there anything else you want to add to this? Um, I just thought I really enjoyed today. I actually lost two days' work because I so wanted to be here, because I think... I want to be able to say here I was here in 10 years time wow. and this really made a difference because I don't have children but I want the children of tomorrow to see their faces reflected back on the screen and that's not happening at the moment. Wonderful, thank you so much. Now just real quickly, tell, tell the audience who you are. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Sam Simmons, I'm from Hackney in East London. <laughs> <and I'm an laughs> I was born in Hackney as well. <laughs> Mill and Clapton, uh, the mother's uh, hospital. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I was born. Oh. So I'm a Hackney lad. Yay. <laughs> East London. All Excellent. Way. Big up Hackney. <laughs> Sam, thank you so oh, much for you. your time. It was lovely to meet you. I hope yeah, that was okay. Oh, it was great.